Hi, this is Carrie. In today's 5-Minute Friday, I'm going to talk about the Altmetric Attention Score and the Altmetric Bookmarklet. Typically, when we hear the word Altmetric, we think of things like alternative metrics, things that are outside of the typical impact factor and H index to measure research impact. In this case, Altmetric is also the name of a brand, which is part of digital science. Digital science is also involved with dimensions, which was a topic in one of my 10-minute Tuesdays recently. So here we are on the Altmetric website, which is altmetric.com. And here you can explore more about Altmetric's tools. They have some paid products, some information about what are altmetrics, where they're getting their data, and more. So first we're going to take a look at what the altmetric attention score looks like, and I've already pulled that up here. You've probably seen this before on publisher pages, maybe institutional repositories, maybe even an individual researcher's page. And what it is is a little colorful donut with a score in the middle that is an indicator of how much online attention this article has received. Now note that it's not necessarily good attention and it's not necessarily bad attention, it's just attention. So it's not an indicator of quality, but of attention. Now the number inside of that donut is the actual altmetric attention score, which is the automatically calculated weighted count of all of the attention a research output has received. It's based on three main factors, volume, sources, and authors. So this numerical score represents a weighted approximation and is not a cumulative count of all the mentions that an article has received. So let's scroll down a little bit and we have a key here for the colors of the donut. So these Colors will tell you if it's been shared or referenced in a policy document, on the news, on a blog, Twitter, or more. So that's very helpful. And then this shows you what some potential altmetric attention scores can look like and how you should interpret that. So what we're going to do is navigate back to the altmetric homepage so that we can get the bookmarklet. I'm back on the home page, which is altmetric.com, and we will go to About Our Data. And under About Our Data is a link for free tools. And under that, the first one that we see is the Altmetric bookmarklet. So let's click on Learn More. The first time you install the Altmetric book Marklet, which is a plugin for Chrome, Firefox, and Safari, you will need to fill out a form. Once you fill out the form, you can drag and drop the bookmarklet to your bookmarks bar. And if you'll notice, I've already done that. So I'm going to scroll back down because it has some nice examples down here. Under the section called Try It Out, it says uh, take a look at the altmetric attention score for these articles. So let's click on this one, The Toxic Truth About Sugar. This was from February 2012, and right now it looks like a normal publisher website. We don't see any altmetric attention score, but if we click on the plugin up here at the top, we're going to get a badge. Here's the badge, so it has an altmetric attention score of 1,584, and it shows you where this article has been picked up. You can click for more details, and it takes you back to an altmetric site that's going to give you some really interesting details here. So you can see where it's been tweeted, and if you follow these tabs at the top, you can see where it's been shared on the news and go directly to that website. You can do the same for blogs, policy documents, Twitter, Patents, Facebook, Wikipedia, Google+, and more. So I think that's really interesting and also really valuable.
Now I want to show you that you can also do this from a database like PubMed. So let me just go to PubMed. Here I am on PubMed's homepage and I'm just going to enter some terms for articles that I think might be probably a little bit more controversial. So I will say hydroxychloroquine. And COVID. We'll search and see what we get. A lot of results. Let me click on this one, number 10. The efficacy and safety of hydroxychloroquine. And we'll see what we get when we click on our altmetric bookmarklet. This article has an altmetric attention score of 142. It's been tweeted 174 times and picked up by two news outlets. So that's how I use the altmetric attention score. It's a very cool feature that can help you understand how much online attention your article or another article has received. So try it. Let me know if you like it. And thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.